These are the top 5 worst hacks of 2018 that may have affected you and possibly you didn't even know. Hello everyone, my name is Frederick and I will show you some of the biggest breaches, data exposures and general hacks of the year gone. Number 1. Facebook Data Breach At the end of September of last year, Facebook disclosed a data breach in which attackers gained access to 50 million accounts by stealing user authorization tokens. Essentially, access badges that get generated after the user successfully logs in. Sites use authorization token schemes so that users don't need to sign in multiple times as they move around the platform. In Facebook's case, the attackers coordinated exploitation of three different bugs in the social networks feature called View As to grab user tokens, gain access to Facebook accounts, and exfiltrate a significant and diverse trove of user data. The vulnerabilities existed in Facebook's platform since July 2017, but the company only detected suspicious activity related to them in September 2018 over a year later. This is what is so unfortunate about most cyber attacks. You don't even realize until way after the fact. Number two, Microsoft. A zero-day vulnerability found in Microsoft Windows was leaked on Twitter by a security researcher. What is a zero-day and why is that such a big deal? Hmm. Well, a zero-day vulnerability is a vulnerability that was unknown to the manufacturer, in this case Microsoft, and therefore can be exploited, and usually is exploited happily, by hackers until it gets fixed. After this particular zero-day was disclosed, Twitter deleted the post and suspended the account. And eventually, Microsoft fixed the vulnerability, but it was too late. The damage has been done. Number three. Marriott. Marriott hotel chain announced that up to 500 million travelers who made a reservation at Starwood Hotels since 2014 had their data compromised. The failure originated in the Starwood reservation system. Marriott acquired that hotel group in September 2016, but the intrusion was not detected until September 2018 two full years later. That's crazy. Some reports indicated that Chinese state-sponsored hackers were behind the attack, although this attribution has not been officially confirmed. In the attack, user data were displayed, such as bank cards, telephone numbers, passports, and so on. Most things that you wouldn't want to fall into the wrong hands, but they did. Number four, Instagram. Instagram was hit by a mysterious series of hacks from Russia, leaving users blocked from their own account. After being blocked from their accounts, users reported that mm, their profile picture, their username, their biography had been changed. The accounts remained inactive, waiting for whatever purpose the hackers have planned for them. It is not clear why the hackers enter those accounts. What is clear is that many people like you and me were affected, even celebrities. Actually, maybe you're one of them, so it's you and me and the celebrities and you. Anyway, number five, Twitter. Twitter was hit with a data breach that the social network believes is linked to an alleged attack sponsored by a state. Again, a state. Where are we heading? Maybe the next digital war? It's really scary. Anyway, in a blog post, Twitter revealed that when investigating a vulnerability that affected one of its support web forms, the company discovered evidence that the error was being misused to access and steal the exposed user's information. Hmm. Again. So, one would hope that, over time, these attacks would decrease in scope and frequency. But it's the exact opposite that is happening. Every time, more and more cases like these are reported. 
That's why awareness is important about how to better protect your data and to think what data to share, when to share it, and even more importantly, when not to share it. While you reflect on this, remember, be safe on and offline, and I'll see you soon.